I'm KK Reaper. And I'm Luna Reaper. And this is A Frightful Eve. This evening, we will be reviewing Jordan Peele's latest horror movie installment, Nope, about two siblings who run a California horse ranch and discover something wonderful and sinister in the skies above, while the owner of an adjacent theme park tries to profit off the mysterious otherworldly phenomenon. But first, the horror news. New Jersey HorrorCon and Film Festival will be scaring up something at the Showboat Hotel in Atlantic City this year from September 16th to the 18th. Any one-day pass for admission is $35 and three-day pass is $80. Celebrity guests include names such as Peter Chris of KISS, legendary effects guru Tom Savini, Amanda Beers from the original 1985 Fright Night, and more to be announced. And if you're still looking for even more thrills and chills, shock rock master Alice Cooper will be performing right down the block from the showboat at Tropicana Casino and Resort that Saturday, September 17th. Perfectly timed to start at 7.30, 30 minutes after the second day of HorrorCon comes to a close. So don't miss out on this wicked weekend of fabulous frights. A new trailer dropped for season two of the Child's Play television spinoff, Chucky. The trailer provides a glimpse into the new setting of our main characters and survivors of season one, Jake, Devin, and Lexi, in a form of a church that is likely doubling as a boarding school. It's also our first look at Glenn and Glenda, Chucky and Tiffany's gender fluid doll child, whose soul is now split among two human bodies since the end of Seed of Chucky, and where Nika stands, or doesn't, after the brutal amputation by Tiffany of both her arms and legs. The series is set to return on the Sci-Fi and USA networks on October 5th of this year. John Carpenter's Halloween Ends trailer also made a premiere this week, but showing very little in its 1 minute 17 second runtime. After leaving off with Michael Myers murdering Laurie Strode's daughter, Karen, in last year's sequel, Halloween Kills, Laurie continues her lifelong quest to destroy Michael in what is sure to be a thrilling conclusion to the new Halloween trilogy. With some redone clips of the 1978 original sprinkled into the quick cuts of the trailer, it begs the question, will all finally come full circle? Will the shape finally meet his end? Probably not, but we shall all be finding out this October 14th. House of Spirit Soiree is a haunted cocktail party stating to be home to all things mysterious, magical, and macabre. An event like this is immersed in the aesthetic of a vampire's prized ballroom. There are musical acts, photo opportunities, acrobatic performances, and optical illusions. This refined evening has been created by the things all romantic goths dream of, taking place in LA, New York, Seattle, Nashville, Houston, and Dallas, it is something not to be missed this October. Ozzy Osbourne just released a new single from his upcoming album Patient No. 9, featuring legendary Black Sabbath guitarist Tony Iommi. The single comes second to the title track of the album featuring Jeff Beck. This is the first of Ozzy's releases following the 73-year-old rocker's life-altering and thankfully successful surgery to help his neck and back. The album, which enlists many more guest features such as Zach Wilde, Eric Clapton, and Mike McCready, is set to be released this September. Rob Zombie will be gracing us with his long-anticipated film, The Monsters, this September. Resurrecting such a classic to bring us the origin story of how Herman and Lily Munster came to be despite the disapproval of Lily's father, we are personally excited for this film being massive zombie fans. The makeup for this movie is top-notch. The color palette is everything a quirky, spooky comedy should look like a phenomenal guest star cast, and nostalgia for those who remembered the original classic show. You can find this gem streaming on Netflix as well for sale on DVD and Blu-ray. Slipknot's new single, The Dying Song, Time to Sing, dropped this past week along with accompanying music video and the announcement of their seventh studio album, The End So Far. Some of the members also debuted new masks for the music video, most notably Sid Wilson and Michael Pfaff, aka Tortilla Man. The new album is set to release September 30th, just in time for when they return to the U.S. from overseas for their Knotfest Roadshow tour with Ice Nine Kills and Crown the Empire. 
For more information on these topics, check out the links in the description below. And now for the review of Jordan Peele's Nope. Nope is Jordan Peele's third and largest production on which he wrote, directed, and produced. Peele continues to prove to be a talented visionary and a breath of fresh air in the horror community. Never would we have grasped from the trailer alone what this film would unfold. What ties this narrative together is what is learned by the characters through their life's work. Our leading protagonists, OJ and Emerald Haywood, come from a family lineage of horse training specifically for film set purposes. Likewise, the character of Ricky Park, living across from the Haywoods, grew up as a child actor involved in a series with a trained chimpanzee who becomes aggressive. In both scenarios, it is their understanding of these animals and what causes their aggressive or docile behavior that ultimately helps them to understand the animalistic nature of the monster they are up against. Most monster movies are about how to defeat the beast or maybe even understand a motive, but have not analyzed the behavior of the monster through the lens of an animal that we can relate back to. Without overusing cliches and tropes of your standard extraterrestrial sci-fi films, Nope gives a familiar Strange Encounters of the Third Kind vibe while implementing new and exciting ideas and twists. This coupled with the emotional depth of the individual characters and their relationships creates a greater story to invest in beyond Alien vs. Human. Seeing this film on the big screen can certainly give you the feeling of being small with an ever impending doom that cannot be fought off. Daniel Kaluuya shines in his moment of complete silence and pure emotion and does well to encapsulate the very real reactions to emergencies that we would all have in this situation, rather than the typical obliviousness you would see in characters in a horror film. Likewise, his counterpart played by Kiki Palmer, whose high energy in the role pairs well in contrast to Kaluuya's brooding and minimalist approach, creates well-timed comedic relief without dampening the situations, and expands the role further when she herself must take on more serious approach, similar to Kaluuya's as the story unfolds. Nope offers its audience an innovative and new outlook on a genre that has been around for decades and spans over countless titles, and for that, we give Nope an 8.5 out of 10. So if you're looking for a thrill that'll have your eyes to the skies for days after, we strongly suggest you go and check out Nope in theaters today. That's our show. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, ghosts and ghouls, have, have a, a frightful, frightful eve. eve.